So a little while ago, we had a big old doozy of a storm here. This was quite the doozy of a storm. If you happen to live in Virginia all the way up to, I think, Indiana, you probably know what I'm talking about. For the rest of you, basically a giant thunderstorm just kicked itself together out of nowhere and ripped through a bunch of states with some tornado-like winds at times. And, well, the damage was quite significant. More than that, it was quite sudden. All of a sudden, there's not even rain. It just got a little windy, and then all the more sudden, like just... Little wind, giant wind, thunder, lightning, and everything's falling over. Hello, it's the afternoon. And then by the time it's a little bit later, it's already passed, everything is broken. And power's out, that's the big thing. The power was just suddenly out. No water, no whatever, right? Well, good thing for us, we're constantly prepared where I live. We have water stocked up. We have food that can be cooked without, you know, a stove. We even have logs set aside to build a fire if we have to. It's, we have a setup for all of this, and that's called being prepared. And that is my message today to you from all of this devastation, is, which is simply be prepared. I mean, you never quite know what's going to happen, and you can't obviously be prepared for every individual circumstance, but you can be smart. You can use common sense to be prepared for a number of things that could happen use preparations that perhaps cover more than one event. A general first aid kit basically covers everything, you know. Anytime someone's injured, you have a first aid kit. It really helps. But more than that, it's just being prepared for what life throws at you, both on a regular physical, everyday level, like a storm, a power out, or something like that, and more of an in-total sort of macrocosmal look at things, because the events of life can be sudden, they can be rough, they can suddenly just throw everything that you believe in down on the ground, and all of your stability is gone in one day, or maybe an hour. There's an interesting comparison that has been made by several people, which is comparing this storm to the devastation of Katrina. Hurricane Katrina, of course. Uh, and I don't think it's quite the same, but this was a storm so much more sudden was the thing, the shocking point of it. Hurricane Katrina was forecast on the news. It was coming, and many people could evacuate. Not everyone could, and there was big issues with that. But the point was, there was forewarning. With, with this storm, it was basically... Well, there's going to be a bad storm tonight. That was the best warning we got, was a bad storm tonight. And boom, everything fell apart instead of just a bad storm. I mean, everybody's had a bad storm, right? Thunder, lightning, heavy rains. You don't expect everything to fall over. In fact, our recording spot, our old recording spot, was quite gone by the end of this. Under a pile of trees. Just gone. It's quite the reminder to me, and I wanted to pass it on to everyone else, that we should all be prepared for the events of life. This storm is really just one example of anything that life could throw your way, whether it be a sudden series of hardships and financial problems, or whether it be relationship issues, or a family member having trouble. Life can suddenly toss a lot of unexpected negative events in your way. And while you can't be prepared for all of them, and you can't be fully prepared for anything, truly, you can at least be more ready than otherwise. Don't be caught entirely unprepared. At least have something of a plan. At least have something to fall back on if everything goes wrong. You have to plan and think about these things and anything that could happen in a negative way to you. I mean, you can't anticipate everything. But you can attempt to anticipate the most likely negative things. And furthermore, beyond just being prepared, you have to have mental fortitude. You have to be ready for the fact that life will throw something at you that you're not prepared for, no matter what steps you take. You have to be ready for the fact that life can hit you where you don't expect it and hit you really hard. All of your preparations could slide down the tubes as something completely different happens. But all of that is just a part of life. So, basically, I want to leave you with the idea that simply by thinking about the problems that could come your way and taking basic steps to address them before they happen, you can mitigate a severe problem before it even happens. Turn it into an issue that can be dealt with instead of an insurmountable obstacle that has suddenly shown up. And really, all it takes is perhaps a few minutes to a few hours of your time to be fully ready for it, which will save you who knows how much heartache in the end. Just something to think about.